Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be looking at some of the Mac updates that Mountain Lion has brought. So if you're sort of on the fence or looking around to see what all it has made available, I'm going to attempt to show you some of the best features. Now keep in mind that Apple is saying that there's like 200 additional features. There's no way I can go over 200 features. But some of them are just so small and minor that I wouldn't even call them a feature. But anyway, looking at the computer here, down here, you can see, first of all, you get iMessage. iMessage is a major new component that was built into the uh, mountain line. So, you know, people that have Macs, can call people that 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 have a iPhone or a uh, iPad. You can you can FaceTime them or use iMessage and text them, and it doesn't cost anything. But now keep in mind, you can't text or call somebody that doesn't have a Apple product. They have to have Apple products before you can do that. So keep that in mind. And one other major thing that they added is notes. And inside notes, while we're in here, one of my favorite features that Mountain Lion brought was dictation. They're not necessarily calling it Siri, and it's not, but it's pretty close. So let me open up preferences here and show you inside of dictation and speech you see I have it turned on uh, text to speech that's that's like if you're wanting to have your text read back to you and dicta and you can select different voices here and if you want to select a different voice you can download several different ones here in several different languages if you are in another language or want another language that is available but the dictation works pretty awesome and let me show you how it works I've got it set when you press the function key twice you see that's the shortcut here okay so let's go down here I'm gonna press the function key twice it'll pop up a little thing this is a test to see if the dictation for the Mac is actually accurate period can the Mac understand a hillbilly period what about a redneck question mark click done and it'll take just a minute to process that it has to send that information to Apple if they run it through their servers to try to interpret it and then it'll spit it back out on your screen I may have talked just a little bit long for it to process it this fast right up on the screen here now so we'll see with my screencast and everything running it may not work properly so let's try this again this is a test this is a test and it and it crashed for some reason this is a test this is a test and for some reason right now the servers could be down there could be a several different reasons but it you can see I have tested it earlier and it got pretty close to what I said the same thing this is a test to see if this is really working hello Siri can you come to the rescue and it said race you so if you enjoy making new notes that is an option inside here too you can click add and when you go to your iOS device now this is updating to the cloud right now you see up here at the top it says updating it's uploading that through iCloud and it's sending it to every device that I have linked with this same username or iCloud username if you want to call it that it's sending it to my iPad all of the other Macs I have and my iPhone and all that kind of stuff so pretty awesome 
Another awesome thing is notification is uh, reminders, and it works just like your iPhone. If you have an iPhone, um, you can you can add different stuff here. You see, I've been goofing around creating stuff uh, by by Mercedes, and it will add that to my list over here now and if I complete that I can just check it off and it puts it under completed it works just like it does on your iPhone and you see under the completed I have Brian Mercedes checked off and reminders here's a test that I haven't checked off and I don't know what this two by meal is whatever it is check that off and it goes under completed but that's pretty well what the notifications and iMessage and reminders is about another awesome thing they did is they included notification center this little thing right over here in the top right hand corner you can click it and it will open your notifications that you have and show you any mail and anything you have and you can select the number of emails or notifications you want it to show one, five, ten, twenty, hundred, whatever you want to show, and you can click back down here and it'll close it back down. But all of your notifications are pushed to all of your iOS devices, also. And also in the notification center, you can select whether you want it to be a banner or an alert. And let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to send myself an iMessage. And I want you to see how it looks when it comes up on, give me just a second here, I'm trying to get my iMessage pulled up here. And we can do another test. And I'll send that right now. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes for them to go through and I sent it three of them right then so let's see how they come up and it says it's still sending so I don't know what the deal is with it uh, the servers could be down on at um, Apple or something I don't know guys but while we're waiting on that we'll move on to something else and maybe it'll pop up and also something you can do pardon me communication error okay uh, like I said, I've even got an error over here on my something I was trying to upload. But anyway, that's uh, you can turn that audio on if you want it to speak to alert you as well. Play sound when receiving notifications, you can do that. That's just like the little beeps. I'm talking about an actual speaking like you just heard. That's come through my MacBook Pro. That's a different computer I've got going in the background here. But anyway, you can sync all of your pages documents and you can also look right up here at the top and see they put a search bar at the top of each page now you know I used to use this Alfred this little hat right here you see and that's what it would do you could pretty much search anything you wanted from anywhere you was and it would uh, it would find it and let's pull up pages and you can see right here that I don't really know okay here we go here's blank you can see right here now we've got the iCloud included in here and you've got on my Mac you've got iCloud to select or on my Mac if I select on my Mac, it pulls these documents up because these are all the all of the different pages documents on my machine. But if I pull up iCloud, if I click iCloud, it shows everything in the cloud. And then if I open up blank and make a new one, all right, and you can see I've been goofing around with it here. And if I make another new one and just 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 a bunch of random text and I go over here to save when I hit save it's going to give me the option to
to save in the cloud. And let me show you what I mean. For some reason, everything's just gone haywire. Let's try it this way. And you see you can change the name of it right here. Right up here at the top, I can tap I can tap uh, test whatever in there. Sorry about that. And let's rename this again since we and we can go to save. And you can see right here now we get the where, we get the iCloud. If we want to save this test 4545 in the cloud, when I hit save, now it's going to save that in the cloud and I can pull this page document up on any of my Macs, iOS devices, iPad, anything that's running that I've got linked up with this iCloud account. So keep that in mind. All right. I got some notes here that I'm sort of looking at and also there's a option under security let me see if I can find where I'm want, what I'm looking for right fast here I don't see it um, anyway under security there is an option it's they call it gatekeeper right here they will attempt to keep from allowing you to download, so like right here it says, allow applications downloaded from Mac App Store, Mac App Store, and identified developers or anywhere. You could get a, want to download something like from a website, and it may give you an error or a some kind of message telling you you can't and it will be because you've got either got Mac App Store selected or Mac App Store and identified developers so keep that in mind when you're trying to download stuff they're just trying to keep the beginner novice from downloading something that will mess their machine up very bad okay so keep that in mind one other thing before we go the Safari was updated and inside here you can see it looks a little bit different they changed the URL bar here the way it looks and when you type something in okay you can see that you got the little option right here right beside it but uh, apparently my internet or something has gone down while I've been on the making this video but I'm going to try to finish up anyway right here, but it pulled up. But anyway, you can do things right here from this little thing, email the page, message it, or Twitter it. That was an update. And you can also, you can search in the bar up here. You can search your computer for things, or you can search, okay, see how here I'm searching Google. And down here, you can search your your history or site. You can search different things. So you can search your machine or a Google search right from the bar as well. And they also changed the way sites look. And right here, you can scroll through them just like if you were on. Sorry about that. If you were on an iOS device, see how I can flip through that. It sort of works like your app switcher does. And that's that's got my track thing messed up. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And maybe it wasn't too awful long. Don't forget to come over to iPhoneCaptain.com. And I also have a new site called FreeCityOfTweaks.com. Check both of them out. Leave a comment on the video. And please hit the like button and subscribe before you leave. Thanks for watching, guys.